Hey, what's going on guys? So I wanted to upload this gameplay of Severog that I had. Um, we actually lose this game, sadly, but I thought it was a shame not to kind of like upload it and show kind of the potential that he basically has. Um, I didn't get to experiment with him a lot in the beta because I was so busy one tricking Kwong for Han. Uh, but he's really good. I really like him. I think he's amazing. Uh, I've definitely been enjoying using him um, for like the four or five games that I have. Every game was pretty easy to just kind of like steamroll as him, even when we lost this game. We didn't lose because we were losing. We we just left because there was a, a 4v5. So um, I think I was hitting no. Oh, maybe I hit yes. I don't remember, but um, I don't know. I was doing really good. I really wanted to test the build. I honestly think we could have won if we kept going because their jungler really couldn't stop me. Um, their other Severog couldn't even stop me. I don't know what he was building. I don't remember. Um, you might be able to see in the video when I'm like pressing tab, but I was actually going an attack speed build. Um, I think full health on him is probably the play, like especially in soul lane. But if you did want to jungle with them, uh, I saw a full tank jungle Severog who was just dominating. He didn't do like an absurd amount of damage, but he did a lot for his build and he literally never died. Every and like our team was getting kind of like steamrolled to an extent, at least some rolls were, but he was just absolutely unstoppable. He had zero deaths. He had like 15 kills. So you could definitely do full tank Severog if you want to. Um, I do think he just feels way better as attack speed. So I would just stack health on top of attack speed. His passive, which is uh, his soul steal, whenever you last hit with the ability, um, his uh, first ability, whatever it is, siphon, uh, you basically just kind of get health every stack. It stacks up to, I believe, 75 or 100, at least it used to. I'm not sure what it stacks up to in this game. But every time you get a stack, like I said, it's like 75 to 100. Or it's just uh, 75 to 100 full stacks. And yeah, you just basically get a health. I think it's three health every single tier. I don't know if there's like thresholds like there was in Paragon. But three health every single stack. It's just, it's just insane. You just get so much HP for free. So even without building a lot of HP, I'm sitting here just tanking everything. And Kalari did not stand a chance at all. Like, no jungler really... Um, kind of like can scrub with me. I feel like the only one who really can would be uh, Han or basically Fang Mao or Grux in his ult maybe. Um, but I think people like Countess or Shinbi or anyone like that just literally cannot. Severog also has the, or sorry, uh, <laughs> Demorius. I keep saying Severog because that was his old name. Demorius has the advantage of basically never being able to uh, be caught. He has a root, he has a dash, and his ult sends people away. I was just kind of like figuring him out in these videos. So it's... <laughs> It's not the best Demorius gameplay, don't get me wrong. I played him really poorly. Um, I definitely could have played way better. Basically, all I had to do was auto attack and that's it. And then siphon if I wanted to. But I didn't really want to waste my mana. Basically, all I had to do was auto attack and siphon. You can actually siphon while auto attacking, basically, without really uh, cha like you know stopping animation full like fully. So siphoning while you're auto attacking is not a bad idea. It gives you a little bit of magic imbued in, inside of the uh, physical attacker he is a magical damage dealer so he does you know you're supposed to build a magical but um i don't think building him full magical really does anything i don't think it gives you enough damage i mean he has a root his ult sends people away like or like hits people away he's basically a tank he was made skilled for a tank so his abilities don't scale that high but his siphon does his siphon's pretty strong you can spam it so you could go full ability damage but you'll probably get blown up um the attack speed makes it so you can out trade everybody i feel like in this game, the attack speed builds usually just kind of trump a lot of the mages, especially because there's so many health builds or just like easy ways to space them out. I don't really know what mages can build because they don't have a, I don't know if they have a dash item, but aside from stasis, they really have to be protected. Like they're, they have to be protected unless you're Countess or Shinbi, you know, like Valora, uh, Gideon, like you guys just basically have to be like protected really hard uh, or even Cynthia versus, you know, like melee attackers or auto attackers specifically and currently right now i think every melee jungler there is or physical jungler you know or someone who's supposed to be auto attacking is you know an auto attacker they, they know none of them are ability based or none of them really should be ability based because you're going to get blocked by shields you're going to get blocked by abilities you're going to miss abilities being able to scrap and knowing how to engage in spacing is really important cutting distance, you know, using those abilities to just basically cut, you know, not wasting your abilities trying to poke um, unless you know you can get something out of it. Uh, like, 
mages just have a lot of trouble kind of getting in versus the melee attackers in that in the you know because they have to throw their abilities out and hope it hits and it's kind of easy to dodge a lot of the mage abilities or you have to overly commit yourself as a mage versus these auto attackers so i feel like it's really like you know like why am i building auto attack on a full magical damage to heal your he doesn't have any scaling i think for physical except his you know basic attacks but the build does recommend you build a physical item first, so they kind of know that you're supposed to build some auto attack, but if you lean more into that auto attack build on him, I think like, you know, get two attack speed, maybe three items. I even went, did a game where I went and crit on him, it was absolutely nasty, um, wouldn't recommend it. Obviously the beta's over, so you can't really test any of these sadly, but when early access comes out, depending on how they rebalance the game, I don't know if they're going to change much, the game was really fun as is. Um, I will have a separate video as well, going over my thoughts and opinions about the game, and if it's ready, which, you know, TLDR it is, personally, I know, I think it's ready, I just think they need more heroes, but that'll come in due time. Um, but, separate video. But yeah, like I said, um, I'm, I mean, I've, I had a lot of fun with Demorius, I wish I'd tried more characters, aside from just one tricking Han, um, I tried every single carry, I did not like Revenant, I like the other three, they were pretty good, I like Sparrow the most, she's pretty good, um, I mean, I tried a lot of different... I tried all the mid laners. I even tried Valora, um, I believe. I think I played Valora in this. I can't remember if it was that or Predecessor, but I'm pretty sure I played her in this. Um, and I believe I lost that game. That was, like, really early, like, my first two days. So, uh, But I did pretty good as her. Really strong. Um, I played pretty much everyone else. I played a good amount of phase. Played some Narbash. Um, yeah, I didn't... Unfortunately, I didn't get any Narbash recording either. Uh... I never got really a good game on him. Like, I would have a good game, but we'd get steamrolled. So, it was so sad. Um, but I did get a lot of gameplay from everyone else. So, I don't know what other videos I'm going to put out for specific heroes. I don't, I'm not, I don't think there's anything else I really have in the works for a different character. I do have some more Han <laughs> gameplay because, I've, like I said, I've been one-tricking him. Um, I'm lucky I got this Demoria's gameplay. I have two games of him, actually. One where I went the crit route, and then one where I went, like, this route. So, I'm glad I got this gameplay out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. is under attack.
been slain. Tower is under attack. An allied tower is under attack. Enemy tower is under attack. Enemy tower destroyed. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Tower is under attack. Enemy tower is under attack. An ally has been slain. An enemy tower is under attack. 
Inhibitor, proceed. 